Subscribe to this YouTube channel please and enjoy watching the video, here we go. Former referee Dermot Gallagher dissects the flashpoints from the latest round of Premier League and Scottish Premiership games, including Anthony Gordon's controversial winner for Newcastle against Arsenal. Newcastle 1-0 Arsenal Incident, Anthony Gordon's goal was allowed to stand despite VAR checks for the ball going out of play, a possible offside against the scorer, and a possible push by Joe Linton on Gabriel Magalhaes. Was the ball out of play? Dermot says, I don't think so. When you see a corner taken now, it overhangs the quadrant. Often you think it's outside, but because it overhangs, it's in play. The law says the whole of the ball has to be over the whole of the line. If you look, there's a fair chance part of that ball is overhanging the line. I say fair chance because you have to prove the ball is out of play. The assistant has to be convinced that the ball is out of play before he can flag it's out of play. The VAR has to be convinced it's out of play before they can deem it out of play. Therefore, if there's a doubt, you can't say conclusively it's out. You don't have to say conclusively it's in, it has to be out and there's no evidence to say it's out. Was Gordon offside from Jolinton's knockdown? Dermot says, there have to be two defenders. People think it's one defender because the goalkeeper is normally there or, alternatively, he can be behind the ball and I think that's the key issue here. The goalkeeper is a red herring because he's out of play, so to speak, regarding offside. Is Gordon behind the ball when Joe Linton knocks it down? If you see when he knocks it down, there's no start point for the VAR to draw the line. No destination, no start point, because if you have no start point, you can't get to the end point. It was impossible to find the ball, because of Joe Linton's body, they could draw a line through to see where Gordon was, so therefore you have to default back to the assistant's call, which was onside. Was Gabriel pushed by Joe Linton? Dermot says, that's the crux of the matter, it's a subjective decision. For me, I think it's a push. I've spoken to many who think it's not. I've spoken to many who think it is, the subjective decision, is the dilemma. The referee said no, the VAR looked at it and thought it wasn't enough to overrule the referee, so that's where we're at. People say to me, if you'd have picked number two, the push, the other two would have gone away. That's great, but the referee didn't pick the push, he chose to say it was physical contact rather than a foul and the VAR backed him. Incident, Kai Havertz was only booked for a late challenge on Sean Longstaff and the decision was upheld despite Newcastle being adamant he should have seen red. Dermot says, if he had got a red card, he couldn't argue. It's quite ironic that history has rewritten itself on Saturday. This reminds me so much of Mateo Kavakic a few weeks ago, where I think he was right on the cusp to get a red card and he got a yellow card. I think, again, the referee has given the benefit of the doubt here. He's flying through the air, he's reckless. He catches him with his wrong foot, luckily, because if he catches him with his first foot, I don't think Longstaff would be getting up. Luckily for him, he also arrives low. If he got sent off, he couldn't argue, but I'd back the referee on the yellow card. I think what saved him is that it's his wrong foot. It's a yellow card. It's not nice, but he got lucky with how he caught him. But what I find hard is that, later in the game, I can't see how he finished the match. Incident, Havertz avoided a second yellow card for another lunging tackle, this time on Callum Wilson. Dermot says, I think that's a yellow card. I operate the 0 to 10, if the first one's a 9 because it doesn't quite make the threshold, that's above 1 and the referee knew it was a foul because he played advantage. Incident, Bruno Gamara's avoided punishment despite appearing to deliberately hit Giorgino in the head with his forearm off the ball. Dermot says, I think it's similar to Palhinha last week. It's totally unnecessary, there's no need to do it, he knows what he's doing because he uses his forearm. If you use an elbow as a weapon, it's a lot more dangerous. It resulted because of a tackle a few minutes before. He went to make a tackle and went after it, so he knew he was going to do it. On the cusp, I'd say. Yellow card. Pmol not commenting on Arsenal's statement. The PGMOL is not commenting on Arsenal's statement from yesterday. 
On Bruno Gamara's yellow, Sky Sports News understands it would have been a red had it been deemed violent conduct. On the potential Gordon offside for Newcastle's goal, Sky Sports News understands there was no conclusive evidence available to VAR of when the ball was played. We sign 